Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey I'm wearing my very squeaky jacket today, and I'm sorry. But I have a very exciting video because, drum roll please. Ugh. Oh my god. Ow. I have a very large package, and we're gonna open it today. I have no idea what is in this box. This is not some like mystery box shit by any means. Actually, it kind of is, because I really don't know what's in here. So Tia actually sent me another package, so I have another huge package, and she pretty much just said she was sending me something, and that was about it. So we're gonna figure this out together. This fucking package was a bitch to find. She sent it to my apartment instead of my PO box, but she forgot to write my apartment number on it. So my manager downstairs actually accepted the package, but I didn't know that, so I just thought the box was lost forever. So bless your soul, management at my apartment complex. I love you. And she actually really wanted to know what was so video worthy because it says video worthy all over the box. And I really want to know too. So let's just open this shit. The box is very light. So I can't imagine that there's that much in here. So this is probably going to be one of the shortest videos I post in a while. I don't want to show you guys my address on accident, even though I move very soon. Oh my God, I thought it was going to land in my hair and the box fell over and the contents are falling out. Great start. I thought it was gonna land in my hair and I thought I was gonna die forever. Okay, I keep wanting to sing the Blue's Clues song. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna wail. I thought I was gonna hit myself with <gasps> Okay, ignore my naked eyes. I took my eyelashes off right after I filmed because I had to edit the video, but I was way too antsy and I completely missed this. It was taped on top of the box and it literally says, read before opening. So I'm just dumb as fuck, but we're gonna read this now. And I'm just gonna put this before as if it's the same thing, whatever. Also, here's my Porg onesie. I think I've shown you, actually wait. I don't even think I've shown you in a video, but I got a Porg onesie. I ordered it off of Etsy and it took like seven years to get here and it's really kind of ugly, but it's fine. It's just a seat warmer now. I mean, I guess it's like a seat cover. What seat warmer, what? But okay, so this says, I'm gonna do this vlog style because I'm way too lazy to get my tripod. It's all the way over there. There's Porg, hey Porg, what's up fucker? Read this before peeking, please and thank you. So she said, hi Courtney, I know the past few weeks have been emotionally overwhelming for you and I wanted to cheer you up, which trust me you did. And then I don't want to spoil what's inside, so I'm not going to read the next part. I'm just going to keep that to myself because she does kind of give it away. She says, hope you enjoy the story. Please do share it with everybody if you want, which of course I will. And then she said, PS, you can use this box for your big move in a month. So excited for you. Literally what I was thinking when I saw the box, I was like, bless up. I can use this to move my shit. And then she wrote on the back and I've been wanting to share this with you guys because I think this is absolutely amazing of her. So she said, my first children's book came out on August 19th. My boss's son, Max, has had a pretty rough year. He was recently diagnosed with dyslexia. This made him a bit insecure because he thought it made him weak. I wanted to surprise him for his birthday and show him it's okay to be different and that dyslexia wasn't a weakness. So I partnered up with my artistic and dyslexic friend Ronnie and we created Max Rock the Decoder. He's a superhero and his power is dyslexia. You are such a fucking awesome person. It's now available for paperback purchase on Amazon and yes, Max loves his book. So I will have that link down below as well as all of Tia's information. I mean, I literally mentioned how amazing Tia is the whole video, but this, I just... I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, we're gonna get into the video. I talk about it in the end. Okay, bye. I love you guys. I'm so excited. I, I already knew that she was sending me stories. She sent me fucking scary stories, and I'm so excited to read them. I will have all of Tia's info linked down below her channel, her Twitter, all that fun stuff. We we'll show her a lot of love because she's fucking awesome. I cannot wait to read this. Wait, I'm so fucking excited. I have one scary story picked out right now that I'm going to read for this weekend, and then. Her story is coming up hot. I love the black tissue paper and I'm probably gonna keep it because I'm a mom and I like to recycle that shit. Oh my God, wait, I see a furry thing in here. Oh my God, I see like, I see like a stuffed animal. Wait, Tia, why are you the nicest human? Why are you so nice to me? I don't deserve this shit. Oh, let's dig in, shall- <gasps> Tia, stop. Oh my fucking God. <gasps> Stop, stop it, stop it right now, stop. Oh my fucking God. You guys, I don't know if you know this and I'm probably gonna show you on camera right now because now I feel obligated to. I have a collection of stuffed animals that are fruits and vegetables with faces. I don't know why, don't ask. It started with Carol and Brock and it just kind of developed over time. Tia, are you joking? And it's fucking huge and there's something else in here. Oh my God, why? Stop it, stop it right now. Oh my God, it's literally like a Pop-Tart. It's like a pastry. She's a toaster strudel. This bitch is a toaster strudel. Oh my God, what? I'm like speechless right now. I love this, I love this more. Oh my God, I, this is a great package. I love this package. I don't know what that hug was. I was like hugging myself along. I was like patting myself on the back like, yes, sweetie, you did that. Oh my God, Tia, stop. And there's more. Oh my God. 
This is the best day of my life. Oh my god, it's a fucking cookie. It's a f Oh my, I literally like don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. Like I knew the box was light. I didn't know what was inside of it. Cause I was like, I know she sent me her story. I knew she was sending me a scary story. But I was like, I don't know what else she's sending me. And last time I got a box from Tia, which I'll have that video linked down below as well. She had me do almost like, it wasn't a scavenger hunt. I was gonna say scavenger hunt. She sent me a bunch of items from Massachusetts and like labeled all of them and described all of them. Oh my God, bitch. I have been blessed. My collection is so beautiful. I love it so much. Thank you, Tia. If you guys didn't know, Tia's actually the one who sent me my Ouija board. She sent me the Ouija board, which I'm really sad I had to get rid of. And then she also made Kayla and I our cooking aprons. And she sent me a bunch of cute little trinkets and stuff, which I still have. I still have everything. I'm pretty sure I still have all of the food too. Like I didn't eat all of it, but I still have it because I'm gross. Like I still have like the maple syrup and stuff. And now she sent me these beauties and she sent me all of her books. Tia, why? Why do you do this to me? Oh my God, I love all of my friends. I love them all so much. Actually, I guess I'll tell you guys a story because why not? It goes with Carol. It's not like a super long story or anything like that. But me and my friends went to Ikea. That's where we got Brock and Carol. Actually, let me go find them. I'm gonna go grab all of these bitches. We'll be right back after these short messages. I have all of them surrounding me right now and I feel like a psychopath. I move in two weeks and when they're moving all my shit, this is what they're gonna see. They're gonna see a bunch of stuffed animals that are fruits and vegetables with eyeballs. So it all started out with the OG Carol. She's very floppy and this is like a weird fetish video. This is like a weird collections video. I don't know what's happening to me, okay. I just don't want the video to be two minutes long, so here we are. And I kind of want to explain the backstory as to why she's getting a bunch of shit with faces on it. A bunch of food with faces. A bunch of stuffed foods with faces. So me and my friends were at Ikea and we found Brock and Carol. Sorry, I can't forget about Brock. Carol's just, no offense Brock, but Carol's more important. So it all started with these men right here, except you can't even really see them. All right, Porgy, you gotta move back, buddy. We're just gonna line them up. Me and my friends were at Ikea and we saw them and we thought it was the funniest shit ever. Like. Look at them. Who thinks to create these? And they were so cheap. They're like 10 bucks each, so we bought them both. It became almost like this exclusive thing where all of us had a Brock and Carol, and so if you didn't have one, you weren't a part of like our immediate friend group. I was very old when I did this, by the way. I was probably like 19. It was when I worked at Victoria's Secret. It was a bunch of my Victoria's Secret friends. So me and two other girls had both Brock and Carol. And for Christmas or something, we got one of our managers a Brock and Carol because we wanted her to be one of us. And then for one of our other friends' birthdays, we bought her both of them as well. We're just psychopaths, okay? But it's fine. It was just funny like they're just funny little fuckers okay and then I can't remember I think I was at the Disney store I actually think yeah I think I got these at the Disney store at the mall I found this let me open her up and show you what's inside so this is three peas in a pod but they all have little faces on them so I named them Pete Petey and Peter because again, I have issues. And I thought this was fucking hilarious. And I think I bought Brittany one as well because it was buy one, get one for a dollar. So why not buy six peas? So I bought myself one and then I bought Brittany one. And this is just so fucking cute. There were also fries. Oh wait, no, that was at a different place. There's another store. They have like French fries and hot dogs and stuff like that, but I've never bought anything. I don't know why. So you just sit right there, fellas. And then I think next up, I think I might've gotten both of these at the same time actually. So this one was from Kayla. I think Kayla named her Ellen the Melon, but Georgie actually has the same one. And she named hers Ellen first. So let's give her a new name now. She could be Wendy the Watermelon. That's fine. So this is Wendy the Watermelon. Kayla gave me her. Thanks, Kayla. All my friends just know I like weird shit, okay? So that's when this bitch came into play. I hate this. I hate that I am this person. I hate this. Is, I, this is a video on my channel. I thought my video from Thursday was bad, but this is awful. And then H got me this one for my birthday. Or maybe it was Christmas. I can't remember. But this is Larry the Cucumber. He's from VeggieTales, though. It's not just a random stuffed animal. He's an actual person. He's a man. He exists. And VeggieTales was my life, and I would sing VeggieTales all the time. I think H was a big fan of VeggieTales as well. Big fans, VeggieTales. If you're watching this, we love you. But we would sing VeggieTales all the time. And so I got a Larry the Cucumber. And you're gonna go right here, buddy. And then Paige got me, I think it was a lemon. I'm pretty sure it was a lemon or something like that. She got it for me at VidCon 2016, but I lost it in the house somewhere. I would bring Carol to every convention, but I would watch her like a hawk because people always try to take her. They try to fuck with her. They'd put her in the pool and shit. I get so mad because she's my child and I'd be like, what are you doing to her? And so I wasn't watching the lemon. I think it was a lemon. I'm pretty sure it was a lemon. I wasn't watching the lemon as much as I should have and she got lost. And so I lost the lemon right when I got it. I was so sad. But Paige actually got me toast when she came to stay with me because she was like, thank you for letting me stay with you. So here's toast. And I don't think I ever named him, but we're gonna name him Timmy the Toast because that's really cute. But this is honestly one of the cutest little pieces of shit. And I think it's the same brand as all the ones Tia just got me. And we're gonna name all of those right now. I am 23 years old. I'm running out of space. And that's all I have right now. I still have more stuffed animals. 
I have a poop emoji. I think my mom got it for me because she thought it was funny. And then I have a Jacksepticeye eye from Michael because I used to love Jacksepticeye. I still do, but I don't watch his videos as much anymore. I don't watch them ever. And then I have random stuffed animals like my mom bought me an owl. Oh my gosh, actually story time. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna just tell you stories that have to do with... I have a problem. Hang on. So when I was in second grade, I told my teacher I had a pet owl who lived in my closet and he was nocturnal so he kept me up at night. And she believed me. I don't know why. And so during my parent-teacher conference, she was like, so do you have a pet owl? And my mom was like, no. So my mom bought me this recently because she thinks it's the funniest story ever. I just told dumb lies, okay? I was a dumbass. So now let's name all of these. So avocado. Let's name her Ava the avocado. That's cute. Oh my god, you're so cute. What the fuck? Sorry, neighbors. Okay, but you're gonna go right here. You're a big fatty, so we can see you past everyone. Oh my god, let's do Paula the Pop-Tart. Oh my god. Paula the Pop-Tart. That's cute as fuck. Is this a Pop-Tart? It has a filling in it, so I would assume so. I mean, we could do Toast or Strudel, but like, what's the difference, honestly? Does she have like an actual name? Whatever, it's Paula the Pop-Tart. We're going with it. Tanya the Toast or Strudel. Let me know down below. Tanya or Paula? You guys decide. All right, and you're gonna go right here next to the Porg. Actually, you can't even really see her. That's not gonna work. And then should we do, hmm, should we just do Chip? Chip Skylark. We're doing Chip Skylark after Fairly Odd Parents. We love Chip Skylark in this house. All right, and you're gonna go right there, Chip Skylark. Sorry, Larry got hidden, but that's fine. I also wanted to show you this. I don't know why. I just think it's funny. I got this right before I moved to Texas. I came to visit before I decided to move here, and when I was going back to Arizona, I found this at the airport, and I thought it was funny because it literally gives birth to a smaller... I was about to say avocado, a smaller armadillo. And I love armadillos. Actually, fun fact, armadillos are one of my favorite animals. I also like penguins, but only because they look like porgs. And I really like turtles because I look like a turtle, but I love armadillos. I don't really know why. They're just really cute to me for some reason, even though I know they're ugly, but whatever. This was the weirdest video I'm ever gonna post on my channel. Now you guys know what a psychopath I am, but that's fine. You already knew, so. I guess we could fix the porg's eye while we're here. Actually, we don't have glue. Up. The pork still doesn't have an eye, so I can't really fix him yet. I might have glue. I found glue, so we're just gonna do surgery really quick and then we're gonna end off the video. And I'm never going to talk about this ever again. We're not gonna, this is not gonna be something we discuss later, not something we're gonna keep bringing up. This is the most psychotic thing I've ever done. But at least we finally fixed the little pork's eye. I guess I was reminded by all of the creatures staring at me right now. Oh god. And voila! He's fixed. We love him. I mean, I guess you guys probably should have expected me to be this weird when you saw that I had a five foot porg in my house, but whatever. Thank you, Tia, for all of it. Like, I don't even understand. Like, I don't know what I did to deserve this. I really don't know, but thank you so much. This means so much to me. I, I hate myself because this makes me so happy. I'm not gonna lie. I was in such a bad mood this morning for no reason. I just, I was in a bad mood and I was like, I don't want to film. I have no desire to film a video right now. It like completely flipped my mood around. I'm like, I'm like speechless right now. I love you guys. You're absolutely amazing. And I know I say that all the time and I never want that to lose any meaning, but I just feel like I want to tell you 24 seven how much I love you guys because I love you guys. I don't fucking know, but I hope you enjoyed. Sorry, this video is going to be a little bit shorter, but like I said, most of my videos are really long and I just wanted this to be dedicated to the box. I didn't really want to do anything else with it. For the 17th time, I will have Tia linked down below. Oh my God, you're amazing. I love you. And I'm going to say that 5 million times. I'm sorry. Okay. But I'm going to go before I just keep rambling about how much I love you guys, but I will see you in the next one. Bye. Shibuya roll call. My name is Timmy. Yeah, and I'm a toast. I'm just gonna end the video off right there because if I keep going, I'm never gonna stop.